Reading to you from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, beginning at verse 33. At the sixth hour, darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at that ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And when some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, he's calling Elijah. And one man ran and filled a sponge with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to him. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down, he said. With a loud voice, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus heard his cry and saw, saw how he died, he said, Surely this man was the Son of God. Some women who were watching from a distance, among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James the younger and Joses, and Salome. In Galilee these women had followed him and cared for his needs. Many other, many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem were also there. I want to speak about four things from this passage quickly. First of all, we note the darkness. The darkness. Even creation grieved at what was happening that day so long ago. As darkness fell upon the earth, as the Creator Himself, the Savior, died. Secondly, we hear how Jesus cries out. For the first time in all of eternity, the Son was separated from the Father. Think of that. The extreme agony of Jesus being separated from the Father as all the weight of the sin of the world fell upon him upon the cross. Separated from his Father and the love that they had known forever and ever. And third, we are told that Jesus breathed his last. He died. Jesus died. He died for us. It was payment, full payment. Payment for our sin. Payment for the death of the innocents that die in this building beside us. Payment for the sin and suffering of the women and the men who are impacted by the curse of abortion. He died as payment for it all. We note that the curtain was torn from top to bottom, from God's side down to man's side. And now there is no separation because of the blood of Jesus that we have access to the very innermost sanctuary of God because of the blood of the Lamb. And the centurion, very likely battle-hardened, a tough, tough soldier, as he is there beneath the cross, as he sees and hears the Savior die, he says, surely, surely this man was the Son of God. My precious brothers and sisters, this man, this Jesus, his death brings victory. It brings victory. His precious, precious blood does pay the price. The entire price, the full price. And sin, death, and Satan himself are defeated. Totally, completely defeated. The resurrection of Jesus Christ three days later proves it. It proves it. And the people of God cry out, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. The tragic and sinless murder that occurs in this place is not, and I say again, is not the final word. The victorious Savior who died that we might live he has the final word. 
He has the final word. Our Lord, our Master, our Savior has the final word. His kingdom will prevail and the darkness, the darkness will be overcome by his glorious eternal light. Let's pray together. By the precious, glorious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for the light to come to this place. We pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that the darkness would be torn down, the, the assault of the evil one would be overcome, and that the blood of the Lamb would bring forth life and light, that truth would prevail, and that the saints of God would rise up and stand for those that are innocent, that would stand for the victims of abortion. We pray, Lord God, for a miracle. We pray that the end of this murderous activity in our land would be brought to an end and life would be treasured, life would be preserved, life would be sanctif sanctified once again in our sight. We thank you, O oh God, for the blood of Jesus, for the victory of the Lamb, for the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in his name we say, Amen. Amen.